I'm Greg McHale from the Wild Yukon, and one of the questions we often get is about hunting late season for moose because, you know, most television shows you see, they're always out in the middle of the rut, fall time, and they're never really hunting moose late season like we often do. I really enjoy late season moose hunting because it has a lot of similarities between sheep hunting. I usually try to get up really high and glass, a lot of hours of glassing, and just really trying to find those big bulls up in the high country after they've come up out of the river valleys and moved up into the will flats where they can feed and get their energy back. So those are the kind of places that I enjoy hunting moose because I can really get a good look at typically a number of moose and certainly see their horns and really make a good judgment. Often when we're hunting in the middle of the rut, sure a moose will come in, but you know, he's coming in through the willows and you have to make a really quick decision as to whether you're gonna take this moose or you're not. And that's why I like hunting them in the late season. I'm up high and I'm judging them and I know exactly what I'm taking and I have a really good sense of the terrain and how to get to them. Now often you're dealing with multiple moose and that becomes its own problem. Whereas in the rut, you might be dealing with one bull coming in or maybe a bull that has a few cows. But in this late season, you can have groups of you know 10 to 15 moose or more even in, in a really confined area, which adds a little bit of difficulty specifically if you're looking for one particular bull. You know, that late season is a really a real gem as far as I'm concerned when it when you want to see a lot of moose and get up high. And the best thing about you know being in the mountains is experiencing that. You're out of the trees and you don't have to worry about just sitting down in the bush. I love the mountains and that's really why I like hunting them late season. So in the Yukon in October, the weather is a huge factor. It can be minus 30. You can really have to be prepared both mentally and physically for the challenge of the hunt. It's up high, it's like hunting sheep. It's in that kind of spot and stock scenario, which makes it really good. It's a fine line between making the decision to actually call or not call. Because if you make that decision to call the moose in, you can obviously alert the cows that are there and they can be the one that make the decision as to whether they're gonna stay or they're gonna leave. Because no matter what, generally speaking, those bulls, if they're with the cows, they are still hoping that one is gonna come into heat and they're gonna follow them. And if a cow's had enough of this craziness over the last two months being chased around and they hear another bull, maybe they just don't wanna be there. And that can change by the day at that time of year. So spot and stock is my go-to if I'm not sure whether they're gonna to come to the call or they're actually going to at least stay. It's always about the spot and stock. Don't let them know you're there, hunt them like they're sheep, and then just make it happen. So if you like the video, like the comment, if you have experienced late season moose hunting, you know, throw a comment below. I'd really like to hear your experiences and because I'm always about educating, always about learning. Have a great day and thanks for watching.